I expected this bike to be okay average-ish but I didn't expect it to be so good this is really really good Hi everyone, this in front of me is the 2022 Triumph Tiger Sport 660. If you know your Triumphs, they carry a bunch of touring motorcycles that carries the Tiger nameplate and this is one of the latest additions in the range. In this whole spectrum, it varies from a 1200, a 900, 850 and latest addition to it is the 660 and this is one of the first ones that has arrived in Malaysia and I'm here right now in Johor Bahru this is probably the first unit here this is a bike that is owned by a family member of mine as you can see here it has already fitted some official Triumph aftermarket accessories such as the panniers obviously and the top rack the Triumph sliders uh, bobbins and as well as the belly pan so these are official Triumph accessories they are made specifically for this motorcycle and it looks the part it looks very premium it looks very well made and I love the fact that the same key that you use for the ignition can be used for the panniers and the top rack as well so you don't have to carry extra keys in order for you to work around this motorcycle that's a really good thought that they have put into manufacturing this motorcycle so this belongs to the sports touring category more importantly the kind of big bike entry-level sports touring category sitting in that category you will find the Suzuki V-Strom 650 Kawasaki versus 650 and perhaps the Yamaha Tenere 700 but the Yamaha Tenere is not in Malaysia and this bike is priced around 50,000 ringgit before tax and insurance which is a very good price for this kind of uh, level of motorcycle of, of what it offers and uh, what you can see here is that because it's a sports touring it's kind of sporty it doesn't have that boxy GS feel to it with the box it has a more of a that MV Augusta Turismo Veloce feel to it that sporty bike but you can take it to places without putting too much stress onto yourself with the big windscreen up front it's adjustable manually on the go it looks really cool but the whole design the whole thing looks and feel is so well made and premium it's an awesome offering from Triumph and you can see here the color combination is also quite striking the bike comes in three colors blue gray and red this red you have to pay a bit extra around a thousand ringgit extra and as well as you have to pay a bit more in order to get the red trim on the pannier and the top rack as well but then again if you get the whole package it looks so good it looks so premium and you just have the complete look of a premium motorcycle even though it's a 660 and there's nothing cheap about this bike looks and feel are very premium and the switch gear is very well made although there's a little bit of free play the switch gear has a little bit of a you know wiggle but then again that is not a deal breaker at all especially at this price point the slider also works very well with the design it doesn't look like a slider at all it doesn't stick out like it's obviously a slider so the panniers it can definitely fit a lot of things in there as you can see right now and the top rack can fit two full face helmets yeah that's right so if you want to go for touring if you want to you want to up on your motorcycle with your partner that is definitely something that you can do very well and comfortably okay so let's do a little bit less talking let's find out what this bike is like to ride all right so we're on the bike and you just have to swing a leg a bit higher in order to get on this bike in order to get clearance of the panniers that's not a problem at all it's just something that you need to do so initial impressions of sitting on this bike I feel that this is a comfortable place to be on you can feel the immediate torque kicking in very low it's as if you don't need the first gear at all it gets you moving effortlessly 
and that is something that is so cool you don't have to work hard at all in order to get this bike moving okay first things first let's talk about numbers this bike is powered by a 660 cc liquid cool inline triple that produces 80 horsepower and 64 newton meters of torque it's the same power plant you can find on the trident 660 and that which is basically a what I call it a detuned old street triple engine I rode the street triple before and I love that engine I think that is uh, one of the best engines ever made it's so agile so it gives just enough power for you to have fun and without scaring yourself too much <laughs> from the initial feel this bike is effortlessly quick there's plenty of torque down low and and knowing that I, I've read somewhere that the tuning for the Tiger is it gives slightly more torque on the lower end in comparison to the Trident 660 this bike weighs a bit more than the Trident at 205 kilograms without the panniers that is and you know with a bit more weight a bit more torque it only seems appropriate to do so what I find really cool are these auto cancelling indicators I've never ridden a bike with auto cancel indicators before this is so cool <laughs> awesome awesome feature okay it handles low speed pretty well as well so about this engine I feel that the power comes in quite immediate you don't have to work hard at all and the gearing is quite short that also helps in terms of giving you immediate power and immediate torque that's what this inline triple is known for anyways and that makes this bike very very agile I guess you can just stay in one gear and ride on that gear the whole way for example what I'm doing right now and it's so smooth <laughs> triples are known to be to give you the best of both worlds that is the immediate torque of a twin and also the smoothness of an inline four and this bike definitely feels that way awesome immediate torque and smoothness at the same time this is an awesome combination of an engine I love this thing however I realized that I hit the rev limiter quite soon that's not really the bike's fault because I'm used to riding a Honda CB 650R that revs up quite high and it's quite kind of long geared Ooh, I'm actually supposed to go that way anyway <laughs> I love how I missed my junction because I was too happy accelerating it has this windscreen here which kind of helps with the protecting the rider against the elements such as the wind and you can kind of pull it up as well at the same time you can do it on the go like that ah slightly less air cool Ooh, is that an R32 skyline? Okay, let's talk a bit about ergonomics right now I'm seated on this bike and I feel that this is a comfortable place to be on I'm seated upright the rider triangle is not aggressive at all I am 173 centimeters tall which is 5 foot 7 with an inseam of 29 inches which is roughly 75 centimeters the seat height is roughly 835 millimeters that means that I can kind of just flat foot to the ground when the bike is standing still but if I do that the seat digs into the side of my thighs so it's not comfortable but if you're slightly for the lack of a better word shorter than me 
you might need to tiptoe but that's not too bad because this bike is not that heavy to it's not intimidating for smaller size riders the rider triangle is good quite comfortable the seat is flush i can see myself being on this bike for a long time there's no pressure on your wrist when you're riding this bike and it's just a comfortable place to be on especially with this windscreen which you can adjust the height manually on the fly like that you can pull it up it protects you from all the elements such as the wind and some light rain so that makes it for a very comfortable ride and the switch gear here it is quite decent quality however i have slight niggles you know there's a bit of free play in terms of the wiggle in in the buttons and uh, especially the indicators here can be better but you know it's not a deal breaker definitely not a deal breaker it's just some niggles that i can pick if i have to pick any the screen here wow this screen is amazing you start the bike you're greeted by this wonderful lcd tft screen white on black and it has this two window the top shows you the speed at the rev the bottom part gives you a menu it has the option of bluetooth connectivity which lets you be able to control your bluetooth device your phone through bluetooth that is pretty cool in my opinion this is 2022 and a lot of cars have navigation and this is one of the few bikes which has bluetooth connectivity at this price range this is quite cool this is a very cool offering from prime that you know gives a little bit of luxury to people who just want to start their big bike journey all right let's talk a bit about the suspension this bike comes with showa upside down forks has 150 millimeter travel just slightly more than the one on the trident and on the rear it's a showa monoshock with preload adjustment and you can manually adjust the preload easily by the toggle that's on the side of the rear foot pegs how does it all feel it feels quite plush i feel that this bike absorbs a lot of the bumps very well well it deals with the undulations of the road quite well but also gives you feedback you feel that you are riding this bike rather than it floating on its own doing its own thing so i think that the these suspensions are awesome they're not electronic they're nothing fancy but i think this is really good especially at this price point awesome awesome bike i love the way it sounds as well it makes you feel that you are on this sporty little machine that you can rev up really easily talking a bit about the handling this bike with the suspension very well set up very plush but at the same time with these tires makes it very flickable and that makes it nice i mean you can ride this i can imagine going through my favorite twisties on this bike without having any complaints there's plenty of feel plenty of agility and so far in terms of grip it's not bad and the traction control kicking in it's not jarring so i feel that it does it very well Ooh, corner see it takes this really well and it dips in very easily even though at low speeds whoa oh it's not slow guys definitely not slow ah it's quite easy to find neutral so yeah no problem with that that's important thing to note however the clutch is a bit weighty just to mention it right here that's something i like to point out brakes i have to say the brakes you've used the front brakes a lot it dives in quite a lot <laughs> at the front it comes with a nissan two pot dual disc brakes with 320 millimeter disc and at the back it comes with a one-sided single pot nissan with 255 millimeter disc 
and uh, in terms of ABS it comes with a dual channel ABS one important thing I like to point out is that it comes with rated hoses which is pretty decent in comparison to other bikes this category so the braking power is decent however it dives a lot if you just predominantly use the front brakes so the brakes plenty of bite plenty of feel definitely matches the whole performance and the whole package of this motorcycle all right so let's talk a bit about cruising if you want to go cruising on this bike i think i can do that comfortably with the suspension with the damping and the wind protection coming from this adjustable windscreen right here at around 110 kmh the revs stay about 5000 rpm there is no vibration coming through the handlebar well, nothing that is too jarring anyways i don't know what other bike would vibrate less probably an electric bike <laughs> but yeah i can see myself cruising like this on this bike for a really long time and enjoying the sights and just eating up the kilometers and there's very little fatigue imposed onto the rider which is me and i can carry my pillion i can carry things inside the panniers i can just eat up the miles without any problems at all the side mirrors give you an awesome awesome coverage i can hardly see my shoulders in them which is really weird i'm not used to having side mirrors that are so clear they don't vibrate at all they give you plenty field of view even though my shoulders are quite wide to be honest i have always had troubles with side mirrors on other motorcycles these side mirrors i have to say they are excellent these tires it comes with our michelin pilot road fives these are premium tires that comes as stock it's quite cool that they fitted these tires instead of some budget tires from the factory because you don't have to change them these tires give you plenty of grip disperses water very well it has a mixture of silica in the compound it's a multi-compound tire that makes it very good for touring eating up the miles and as well as spirited riding as well so you can do plenty of things with these tires if you have them on this bike and it just fits the bike so well everything complements each other you have your navigation you have your screen infotainment you have the protection from the wind it's a one bike for all so you can take this bike to work as well if you want to daily ride this bike it feels light it's agile it's not heavy at all to lug around traffic you can filter it's slim enough so you don't have to carry the panniers because otherwise you know you, you live with the anxiety of scratching other vehicles while you're filtering but yeah this is an awesome awesome bike from triumph and it's gonna blow the competition out of the water it's awesome that the manufacturers are making more and more bikes like these this category of entry level mid-range sports bike is something that is getting very popular makes it a really cool thing i don't know what else is what's not to like to be honest <laughs> It looks pretty good as well i'm trying to find some things not to like about this bike i don't know is it too short geared that's not really the bike's fault because it's short geared you get so much torque available at any time i'm on six right now i'm going kind of uphill 100 km i can feel it just kicks in there is no argument about you know giving me power awesome bike I bet you can even take it on track days and be good as well handles bumps really well did i say that enough probably not but whatever so in conclusion this is a really really good bike it's a really cool offering from triumph and i really like this bike i like the fact that it's well priced and it's kind of affordable for many riders out there and the fact that it looks good it comes with a lot of accessories that are very very premium it is so cool ah there's a corner let's do some cornering it dips in very well it's so stable there's no 
there's no vibration there's no lack of feel nothing that is not giving me any assurance that this bike is gonna let go at all it dips in better than I expected to actually it's just trying to egg me to give a little bit more speed <laughs> awesome awesome little thing no complaints I expected this bike to be okay average ish but I didn't expect it to be so good this is really really good awesome bike okay guys so we are back here that is the end of my review of the 2022 Triumph Tiger Sport 660 if you like my review that's fantastic if you don't that's fine as well variety is the spice of life after all anyway so please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you have any questions or comments do write them in the comment section below so most importantly stay safe ride safe have a great day bye bye Ooh, love that sound